Hey guys, good morning. This is the uh, 20th day of shamanic initiation training. We had our seventh ceremony last night. And I personally had a very rough go of things. Um, just so much purging. It kind of reminded me of the end of a bufo trip where I would purge violently and shake. But instead of it being 20 minutes to half an hour, it was just hours and hours of nonstop intense, violent purging. And at some point I was trying to go to the bathroom outside. The maloka or connected to the maloka and I just got so sick and my stomach spasmed so hard. I threw up so hard that my stomach actually started cramping and having sharp pains on the side. All this while being bombarded with so many intense visions. Some of the visions were very beautiful visions of worlds and geometry but most of the visions I were having I was having that night they were really dark and scary I think if I hadn't gone on these journeys before it might have really scared me and freaked me out but this um, I was able to keep my composure and just look at the visions with equanimity and just puke out those visions of demons, monsters, of of traumas, of of bugs into Pachamama, into the earth. <sighs> I feel like I'm still a little bit in the medicine today, still feel a little bit nauseous, having trouble concentrating. We were supposed to have a bee pollen treatment this morning to knock us out, but I wasn't able to wake up in time. I don't think I got back to my Tombow until 4 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. And I was one of the last people in the Maloka, and I'm glad that my friend Alex was there. I don't know why he decided to stay, but his his presence was was very comforting. So, Alex, if you ever see this video, thank you so much. <clears throat> it's funny because I have been asking this question about the medicine, I said, hey, do you ever think the purging is a physiological response to too much medicine? Or if it's actually working on such a deep spiritual level that it doesn't matter how much you take, that you'll purge because you'll need to purge and the medicine gives you what you need. And it, my question was answered yesterday. Instead of taking the full cup, which is the standard dose, I actually just took half a cup, but it didn't matter that I took half the dose. The medicine gave me what I needed, which was the deep cleansing and a deep purging and just tremors and body shakes. And it was just so 
cleansing. I do feel lighter today. And I think this experience taught me that there's always work to be done and there's always more traumas to process. You know, I had processed a lot of my major traumas related to my abusive relationship with my father who beat me almost every day. <clears throat> well, this was something else. And this was interesting because one of my intentions was to get rid of all my fears and anxieties related to this path and the belief surrounding the belief that everything is is going to work out and it may be one of those cases where be careful what you wish for because or what you intend during a ceremony because you may just get it and i feel like i i kept purging a lot of these blocks a lot of these fears a lot of these anxieties and it was coming from a place that was so deep i at some point i thought i was completely dehydrated and out of bodily fluids but nope, the body finds a way. The body finds a way. My friend Tennis says that he doesn't really drink water during these journeys. He just trusts that the body will find whatever it needs to get rid of whatever it needs. And I experienced that yesterday when I thought I was completely out of liquids, out of water, but it just kept coming out in massive quantities. It was quite amazing. I'm just so thankful to be here at Shamanic Initiation Training and to do, it's just sacred work. This is healing these traumas and, and letting go of all this darkness. It's so special. It's so powerful. It's just, it's so sacred. And I feel so lucky and privileged to be able to do that here at, during Shamanic Initiation Retreat at Aya Healing Center. And one of the lessons that the maestro, Don Miguel, keeps trying to emphasize to us is no matter how strong the medicine is, we need to be able to gather up the strength and sing as, as healers and as followers of this path. We need to be able to not let the medicine completely right us, but also find moments of clarity and and be able to sing and transcend the medicine and i really do feel like i learned that lesson last night i was feeling so bad i kept purging but i did what you said i sat straight breathe in and i was able to sing a couple ikaros with the group as well as sing a um, solo ikaro on my own near the end of ceremony um, again, I don't know where that strength comes from, but it's there and I think it's in all of us. Like if you really dig deep down during these tough times, you know, we can find that strength within us to just go on and, and, and do what we need to do. And in this case, it was sharing songs and music during ceremony with the rest of the participants and it's such a privilege to be able to do that to be able to have spirit flow and just just channel the music and whatever comes out comes out and that's what i like about music during ceremony because we're so deep in the medicine on some level it's always improvised or it's always just on the fly inspired by spirit so the songs change a little bit each time they're never the same each time <sighs> yeah. 
anyways, that's a log today. <sighs> Thank you for being on this journey with me. Also, just want to thank the facilitators here, Elio, Francesca. They're such angels. They helped me so much. At some point, my friend Andra visited me at the end of the night, and she gave me the biggest hug, and it was so comforting, and grounding, and reassuring. I just appreciate it so much. And of course, the strength of the maestro with all his lessons to follow this path. Don Miguel, thank you. More work and more healing to be done. But for now, today is a rest day, time to integrate, time to journal, time to rest the body and recover. Um, we have three more ceremonies left and then perhaps do this again. I'll see you later. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to the channel.